It is the biggest immigration detention center in Europe, housing more than 600 men. It's privately run in a contract worth 180 million pounds. Cameras aren't allowed inside, and a Home Office official who works there suggests why. So you're in government, right? And you've got the second foot in the back of the like the rats or whatever. Oh, yeah, no, I'm and, yeah, and you're sending this, and you're sending that outside, sending it to news, whatever. That is about the government, doesn't it? But now, for the first time, Channel 4 News has obtained footage from inside Harmonsworth. It raises concerns about outsourced government contracts, shows the conditions men are forced to live in, and the despair that some are driven to. I beg you, please. I don't want to take my own life. I beg you. I'm tired. I don't want to die here. Harmonsworth Immigration Removal Centre near Heathrow Airport has had a troubled history with riots, protests and damning inspection reports. It's been run by various private contractors, some of which have been severely criticised for the conditions inside. Six months ago, Harmonsworth was taken over by an outsourcing company called Mighty, a company which had previously run car parks, but now seems to be the government's favoured contractor for immigration centres. The private companies that run these centres don't allow cameras in, so how are we supposed to hold them to account? What really goes on behind these walls? When Mighty took over the contract to run Harmonsworth, it promised to provide the best environment for people in its care. But the footage we've obtained appears to show frustration at cost-cutting. It shows men apparently lost in the system, and others who are being detained despite serious medical conditions. This place is too dead, brother. I know, man, I know. The footage was shot by a detainee who wanted to show what it's really like being locked up here. He gives his opinions on what he films throughout the video, which was given to Channel 4 News by the NGO Corporate Watch. The centre houses a mixture of men, those who came to Britain seeking asylum and are awaiting decisions on their cases, and also ex-prisoners waiting to be deported. The cameraman has previously served a sentence for GBH. It's a complex mix to manage. The most recent inspection report criticised Harmonsworth for an inadequate focus on the most vulnerable. These pictures seem to suggest things haven't improved. Third time in less than three weeks. On an open wing, a man suffering from epilepsy has had a seizure in the corridor. We're told it's his third. Yeah, but special is what they're doing. He shouldn't be here. Miss, let me talk, man. It's my, it's, are we not free to talk? I mean, we're concerned, isn't it? This guard witnessed the man who had the seizure falling down the stairs. It happened in front of other detainees who were clearly distressed by what they saw. It just goes to show you how much lack of regard they have for our health here because we're immigrants. We showed the footage to a leading charity which monitors detention facilities. Epilepsy can be a very serious condition and um, we've seen a number of people with epilepsy in, in detention and we've had worries about the way they've been treated. There are policies that say um, detainees who are seriously ill, for example, should only be detained in exceptional circumstances and yet they are routinely detained. Medical care at the centre is provided by the Central and North West London NHS Trust. They told us all detainees are carefully screened and that those who are particularly vulnerable are placed in an enhanced care unit where they can be monitored more closely. When Mighty won the Harmonsworth contract, the company described it as strategically significant, saying in a press release, its ambition is to expand its presence in the detention market. But what does that mean for the people in its care? We've learnt that the company is introducing what it calls efficiency measures, which will mean detainees who aren't prisoners will have to spend even longer locked up in their rooms, from 10 hours to 12, with an extra hour in the morning and at night. It's um, almost like it's going to become like a prison regime, if you like. Staff at the centre hold regular forums with detainees to air any concerns. 
we obtained footage of one of the meetings where they were told the news about the lockups. So it's trying to improve the service during the core day, seven days a week. The price that we pay is a little bit of an earlier lockup. But hopefully, hopefully you'll understand the reason. That's 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 no, it's not saving money, it's been more efficient. Mighty are justifying a longer period of lockup um, on account of resources. Resources are for this private profit-making company is is their profit. It's how they make their money. Detainees said they felt they're paying the price for that profit with their liberty. Detention centre rules dating back to when they were first opened urges detainees to be given maximum freedom. The centres are supposed to run relaxed regimes. Mighty told us that it delivers a service in accordance with those Home Office specifications and it's not able to vary unilaterally that service to increase profits. It added that detainees are currently unrestricted from 8.15am until 9pm. Let me cry, man. But it's not just about being yeah, locked up for cry. longer. The men also complain about general conditions, such as flooded corridors, which sometimes leads to frustration. Mighty told us it has made significant investment to enhance facilities and improve the centre, and that the work is ongoing. It costs £100 a day to keep a detainee here. But many say their cases are unnecessarily delayed, even though this is supposed to be a fast-track centre. For some, the process is agonising. But he told me Ethiopia, and I want to go back to Ethiopia. I want my freedom only. This man, who agreed to be filmed talking to his caseworker, is begging to be deported after spending 19 months in Harmonsworth. I beg you, please. I don't want to take my own life. I beg you. I'm tired. I don't want to die here. I want freedom. I want my freedom. I got it in two years now for I spent my life behind the door. Why? I want my freedom only. Three months later, the distraught man has told Channel 4 News he's still being detained, now at a different centre. Worryingly, it's not just the detainees who are feeling the pressure. One member of staff caught on camera suggests the centre is now at breaking point. No one thinks I want to tell people like that. The guard originally worked for the previous contractors, Geo, and then had his employment transferred to Mighty when they took over. He claims that pay and conditions have worsened. Some of you guys. I'm doing more shifts, yeah. and you're getting less rest. Yeah. This is gonna break. It it's will, gonna, man. You know, it's one of the you know, there's so much people can take. And it's still open, it's still open. Once again, once again, I like to do this once again. You fucking stop me from looking for this thing. This is not the best, you're just fucking up with everyone. It's rare to hear the views of guards and detainees, some of whom are clearly feeling the pressure of life inside Harmonsworth. Mighty told us the centre is not at breaking point and added that working hours and shift patterns were revised with the agreement of trade unions and staff. Detainees aren't allowed to film inside detention centres. Camera phones are banned. In the footage we've obtained, a Home Office official is asked why. He offers one explanation. So you're in government, right? And you've got to take a photo of your back edition, like the rats or whatever. Yeah, they are like, yeah, yeah. And you're sending this, and you're sending that outside, sending it to news, whatever. That is bad for the government, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they're not going to all be sending fights, or you're sending, like, or someone's cutting themselves, and you're taking a picture of that and sending it outside and being like, look what's happening, because they don't want the back of this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
They might not want the bad publicity, but Channel 4 News' investigations this week have raised important questions about the detention of vulnerable asylum seekers and the private companies who make a profit out of doing so. In response to our reports into Harmonsworth and Yarls Wood, the Home Office told us they expect the contractors to conduct investigations into the issues raised. Mighty has plans to create an even bigger super centre when it merges Harmonsworth with another facility, Colnbrook. Darsh and Sony reporting. Well, we did ask Mighty, the company which runs Harmonsworth, for an interview, but no one was available. We also asked for an interview with any Home Office minister about tonight's film as we have for the past two nights. But again, no one was available. However, in the last hour, they have sent us a new statement saying they will investigate the comments made by a Home Office official and take appropriate action swiftly. And they say mobile phones with cameras are not allowed in the centre for reasons of security.